What's up, what's up? It's Steven Sussman. What's going on? It's Lou Ortega. And this is the Star Wars The Force Awakens movie review. Ah! <laughs> to do one thing but I've got nothing to fight for nothing will stand in our way I will finish what you started all right so I saw the Star Wars movie um, a couple of days after it came out. Yes. I know you saw it today. We saw. I saw it today. We had a conversation before we started filming um, this review. and you Thank told God me, I saw it today. You told me that you thought it was just an okay movie. It was all right. And I loved the movie. I liked the movie. I didn't love the movie. I liked the movie. It's like having a new girlfriend. You just like it. You don't fall in love with it. You just <laughs> like it. Well, listen. What I loved about the movie, first of all, what everybody loved about the movie is they brought back the old characters. They got Han yes. Solo. They got Princess oh, Leia. Ford, man. Great to see him again. Yes. Old, but great to see him again. Carrie Fisher is um, Princess Leia. Of course, she was good. And, of course, um, Luke Skywalker is back. Hey, and don't forget Chewie. Yeah, Chewie's back. Yeah, you know I can't forget the guy Chewbacca. So that's a big reason I loved it. I'm an 80s baby. so. But I'm just confused about the new characters. What are you confused about? I'm just uh, Ray, especially the girl Ray. Yes, you know what I'm saying. She came comes out, and one thing I don't understand about her is I, from the beginning towards the ending of the movie, they spot they show her as a Jedi already, getting all these powers. They didn't show her as a Jedi already, but yeah, I I do agree that she got a lot of Jedi powers very quickly without any training, and without and she us beat even, Kylo Ren right, way too prematurely. Like too I do, quickly. I do agree with that. Too quickly, like we. I don't understand how you get powers like that. You got, you know, like it's like me growing up, me and being two years old, and I grew up to be twelve real quick. You know, it's like can't do that. Like I, I need to know more about this girl. Who's whose parents this girl was? Does it you appear know? that she is Luke Skywalker's daughter? Does don't it seem know. like that's the way they're trying to sell the that's, story? I, I, at first, that's how I it seemed like it, but I thought that Kylo Ren. The villain of the movie, I thought he was probably the son of Luke Skywalker. No, so they said in the movie that he was... Um, Ended up being Han Solo's son. Han Solo and Leia's son. And it appeared that Rey was... They didn't really say this, but it felt like she was Luke's daughter because she was, had all the powers, the Jedi, the Jedi powers, and it seemed like it was two cousins fighting. That's what it felt like to me. I don't know what it felt like to you guys watching. I don't know what it felt like to me you. Me, personally, I just don't like going into movies confused sometimes. I understand the Star Wars trilogy. They like to back up, forward, skip, whatever they do. But I like to know more about these characters. The villain, Kylo Ren. What did you feel about Kylo Ren? He should have kept his mask on. <laughs> all right, first of all, let's start like this. With his mask on, Great. Kylo Ren. Great, powerful, powerful. It reminded me of Dark Vader. Awesome the character. New, awesome. Awesome image. Yes. Like the way they did the um the voice and yes. the look at the costume. Yes. I agree without the mask on, it really didn't feel too It became ugly. <laughs> it didn't feel like he had the same swag as when he had the um, mask on. Nah. It, it just he seemed like a stuff. geeky kid it that was yeah, mad at the world. He seemed like the geeky kid that I used to steal the chocolate milk off from in high school <laughs> and all that stuff. I just didn't like you know what I'm saying? Like the character was great in the beginning, especially with the powers. It felt like it was the imitation of the Dark Vader. You know what I'm saying? But that's how the dark forces are. You know, you get these characters. Well, he did say that he's trying to continue the work of Darth Vader and the Sith right. and all that. So right. I thought that was... Um, he, he looked like he Darth was, was his inspiration. Right. He looked Nah, and, and more infatuated with Darth Vader. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, he even went to his his melted melted mask and... And promised like his gravesite, like I'm gonna obey and 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 do this for you. You know what I'm saying? How did you like the fact? Because I went to the movie expecting that, like I really wanted to see a lot of Luke, and they only showed him I, for I, a few seconds at the end of the movie, which turned out to be awesome for me. I'm I think that was, I think that was the best part. I thought that was the best part. I thought well. that was the best part. I was disappointed, but I thought it was the best part. I was. It leaves it open. For more hunger to right. see the next Star Wars right. film, I was it was I was happy not to see Luke throughout the whole movie because it leads to the next chapter. It seemed like Luke had the whole um, Obi Wan Kenobi look, right? Oh, definitely. Everybody had the Obi Wan Kenobi look. No, no, he had the Obi Wan Kenobi definitely. look. He was wearing the, the cloth. Definitely, he had the beard long. 
It looked, Definitely. It, it looked like he was getting ready to train Ray. Right? It looked like everybody just has some image of all the old characters. That's how I felt. But one thing I do want to talk about and what broke my heart when they killed off Han Solo. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Han Solo dying in the movie. I think it was a good move, though. It was it was a great move, but it's just you know from being from a child growing up, I used to love. Yeah, Hans. they killed. I, they I killed like a part Hans. of our childhood. Yes, <laughs> it was gone. Like that said, the chat chapter of my life is done. But like like I mentioned to somebody, um, like one of my favorite horror movies is A Nightmare on Elm Street. Right. Heather Langenkamp, who played Nancy in the um in the movie, the beloved character Nancy for that franchise. Right. In part three, the Dream Warriors, they killed her off, and of course the fans of the franchise. We're upset about that, but it was great for the story. And they, intru- and they introduced new characters, and it, it, it was great for the next film. Right, and you know what? Sometimes you got to do that. You, can't, you just can't keep the good character living too long. Yes. Everybody gets old, you know, but, you know, some way, somehow, you got to kill. I knew somebody was going to get killed off in this movie. Do you think there's any possibility? Like, I know this is false, but I've read some blogs. I've read some things and hopes. Do you think there's any possibility... For the next writers that they're going to try to um, give a reason why Han Solo lives still. Keep him dead. <laughs> Keep him dead. Let's begin the next chapter. Yes. That's how I feel. Well, listen, tell us your thoughts on the new Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens. Leave yep. comments um, under the um, video. And make sure you follow our YouTube page. Subscribe to our YouTube page. And let's do it, baby. It's the feature presentation. This is Steven Sussman. And, of course, it's Lou Ortega. And listen, man, keep him dead. <laughs> it's the movie review, baby. Let's do it. <laughs>